Another healthcare worker is now infected in West Africa. That word comes after the death of a health worker last week. The World Health Organization says more than 200 caregiver, caregivers have died trying to curb the outbreak. Mark Strassman is at the CDC headquarters in Atlanta with a rare look at the training medical workers get before heading overseas. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Caring for an Ebola patient involves significant risk, whether you're a family member, a doctor, or a nurse. So the CDC is training clinicians headed to Africa how to do it safely. And we got an inside look. Now I want you to stand like this. Dr. Michael Young runs the CDC's new training facility in Anniston, Alabama. The mock clinic looks like one of 17 the U.S. is currently building in West Africa. We call this the PPE donning area. Here, trainees practice suiting up in protective gear called PPEs. They'll get into these and they'll do it in a, a partner system. They'll, they'll work with a buddy to put on all this personal protective equipment. They'll check each other, make sure there's no area of skin showing. And on top of this suit, they're going to wear an apron and they'll have gloves on, a hood and a, a face mask. The suits are designed to prevent direct contact with bodily fluids, which is how Ebola spreads. Even more important than putting them on is taking them off. In the stifling West African heat, they can only be worn for up to an hour. But despite the enhanced protection, healthcare workers on the front lines are still becoming infected. It's difficult to work in more cumbersome personal protective equipment, and that's why we're looking at uh, as many practical approaches that will still be uh, uh, safe. That's why the CDC has started training classes of roughly 40 licensed clinicians. For three days, they practice triage here before they will all head to West Africa. John Welch, a 33-year-old nurse from Boston, was part of the first group preparing to work overseas. It's our responsibility as health care providers and uh, as humans to take care of each other. And that's what drives you? I think so, yeah. I think you have to have a small amount of, of healthy concern because that allows you to follow protocol and follow procedure to the T every time. Our goal is uh, zero percent infection rate. We, we can't tolerate any healthcare worker going through this course, going to West Africa and getting infected in a Ebola treatment unit. Nurse John Welsh will head to Liberia on Sunday for up to a year. These weekly CDC training sessions will go on at least through January. Gail? Mark, thank you.